advantage of this time to become the most amazing version of yourself. You need to be your own motivator, and nobody's going to do it for you. Balance your schoolwork with something meaningful to you. Exercise. Find time to go outside. Take a deep breath. Always be yourself, and you will prevail. Be true to yourself, and only change for the better. Make friends with the people in your class. They always know the people that will support you both in the classroom and make some of your best college memories outside of it. Make time for yourself, whether it be exercising, reading, or watching Netflix. Uh, don't compare yourself to others. And realize that everyone has their own strengths and weaknesses. And stay positive. Don't procrastinate. Tap into your type A side. Get your assignments done early. Getting through this program is about more than a good grade on a neuro test or an A on a case study. Um, your grades won't get you through this program, <laughs> but your desire to learn and the support of your classmates will. So all the future OT students out there, we have some advice for you. Have a study buddy! <laughs> You're gonna feel like a hot mess. We all do. But don't worry, you got this. Oh, and don't plan anything for October. Trust us, you'll be busy. Remember that each challenging test and frustrating paper leads you one step closer to achieving your dream. Learn to get in touch with your feminine side. Always go with your gut. You always know more than you think you do. Be prepared for people to ask why you're doing certain things in lab. Like brushing people. <laughs> <laughs> or pretending like you're Superwoman. Never forget the date of your legacy video, or all future OTs will remind, remember you looking like this. Check your email. If you're ever really stressed, just tell yourself that all of your hard work will be worth it in the end. Just gotta make sure you're always ready to roll with the punches! <laughs> <laughs> always bring headphones to class on test days. You'll know why. <laughs> Remember when your professors taught you about occupational balance? It's real. Don't let work and school take over your life. Remember to participate in social and leisure activities like binge watching Netflix, or crafting it up, <laughs> or hit the gym, or go out to Ted Drew's weekly, fine dining with friends, and then finding a bay. <laughs> Make sure to take lots of naps during OT school. Worry less. Laugh more. Find what works for you. And don't worry about comparing yourself to everyone else. Learn how to be okay with just doing your best. To be open to any field and to give everything a try because you never know what you're going to end up being good at or what you may prefer. As stressful as school gets sometimes, don't forget to take a second look around the classroom and see all the amazing people you get to spend time with. My advice would be to enjoy the ride. Things will get stressful at times, but just remember that you're in it for a reason. Make sure you find friends who support you. And make sure you always have time for yourself because you're your longest commitment. Every day, no matter how big or how small, to just, um, whether it's pray, meditate, or just self-reflect th and give thanks for this opportunity to be in this program and find that strength from within to keep going. Good luck. If you get an opportunity to do research, that's my advice to you. You form great relationships with the professors you're doing research with and get great opportunities to go pretty cool places. Always take Dr. Graho's advice and when you need a break from studying, shun your primary energy and tap into your secondary energy by going shoe shopping. Promise me you'll always remember you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you will ever know.